In this video, I'm going to show you how to get D4C Love Train inside of Jojo Golden Records. But before I start the video, please make sure to like and subscribe as it will really help improve my channel. Thank you. So here we are at the beginning of the showcase. I'm going to show you how exactly you get the ribcage of the Saints Corpse to get D4C. You do need a shovel. I would bring a lot of shovels. You get shovels, start from the statue, you come over here. You want to make your way to this convenience store. Asmart or whatever. And you want to buy a couple shovels from this boss. You need to be level 15 to get D4C. Once you purchased a couple of shovels, make your way back to the statue. The way to get D4C is from mining piles of sand. I'll put a map on the screen of where to find the sand piles, but I will also show them in this video. Follow where my character goes, or if you know any other way to get to the desert. Now that we're at the desert, wherever you are, try to come to this little, this bridge connected kind of to the grass area to the sand part and come this way. Watch out for the stand uses that spawn here. They are strong. Oh, this guy is D4C. Watch out for the when you're at the oasis, you're gonna wanna see this. And once you see this, this is kind of like a landmark. You wanna make your way over here and up this ramp, sorta. Of. Keep making your way up here. Now sand piles will spawn on these bridge bridge areas over here. There's one right there, but do be careful. There is a giant worm that comes up out from the ground and does a lot of damage to you most of the time. Thank God he didn't come up this time. But what you want to do is you want to take the shovel and just click on the sand repeatedly. It takes a minute. And there you go. Ribcage of the Saint Corpse. And then you use this to get D4C. Now to get D4C Love Train, you have to do the same thing, mine the sand piles, but it's way more challenging because it has a 1 in 50 chance of getting of giving you the heart. Oh, perfect. Okay, so this is what the thing that comes out of the ground looks like, and it does a lot of damage. Oh my. If you want a pattern of getting to the four sand piles, Start from here, this little rib cage. Make your way over here. Jump on this, this will boost you up. 
and land right here on the bridge. Make your way up here. And this is the first sand pile you should get. Let's see if we get the heart. The next one is clearly over there. It hasn't spawned yet, but we're still going to go there. We're not going to go that way. It's way too dangerous. If you fall down there, you're basically dead. You have to come all the way back. So, take safe ways for everything. The second sand pile is up here. Spawns there, obviously. You don't want to make your way over there. There's no sand piles over there. You want to come back. This way. Jump over this. Make your way past this stand user. You want to jump on this thing and basically go over there. I'll try to do it now. Okay, it's not easy, but once you do it, you want to come... Well, actually, can you make that jump? Well, if you have made it heaven, it can be really easy if you just come over here. But if not, I would just try to use that jump. And once you make yourself... Once you get back somehow, come up here for the last sand pile. It will be right here. Yes! Oh my god! Okay. So, we saw it there. We got the heart. It took forever. It took about 50 shovels. I lost 10,000. 10,000. Mine, gone. Just gone. But we got the heart. We got the heart. Now that you've gotten both the rib cage and the heart. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to get rid of Made in Heaven. Then you want to use the rib cage, and with it, you will unlock D4C. So now here's the showcase for D4C. These are the M1s. Let me turn up the volume just a little bit. Those are M1s. Here we have the rush, which is E, R, heavy punch, it's called chop, oh, this is pretty cool, yeah, it's bleed and you cut off a limb, here's T, oh, you shoot two guns, we want to see the range for this, let's go to the cooldown, hoping it's click aim. It is, and it has really far range, or decent range. Here's Y, no Y. We have F block. This is what it looks like. G. Ah, oh, okay. So this is like your, oh, this is basically his own little universe that he goes into. Oh, and you just, Okay, okay, okay. So I guess you can use that to like run away from a fight or something like that. Or you get somewhere quick because you do sprint really fast. So here's H. Type arranged. Idle, melee, and then ranged. J. Oh, that might be for the clones. Z. X. C. Clone required. Oh, V. V is clone. Okay, so here, let's do this again. Let's test this. Let's put the let's put the clones in the ranged. 
could spawn one. Okay. So he shoots shoots a clone. Oh, he's shooting him all the way there. And it looks like the NPCs don't attack them. Let's see how much we can have. We got two here. And they both shoot. Oh, this is really nice. So you can have you can only have two clones spawn and you press C to just swap them one. And you get a, you get some good amount of HP back and you teleport to where they were. So this is a good this is a good PvP stand. Okay, now for D4C Love Train. You have to use the heart. The description is will evolve your abilities once merged with your body and increases your spirit's potential. This is what it looks like. And now using it. This is what it looks like. Here is the showcase for D4C Love Train. We have the M1s. Doing 19.1 damage, which is a lot. We have the rush. Which is E. We have R, heavy punch. Which chops, the same move. T, dual wield, same move. Y, no Y. Here's our block. Next is G. The dimension. Can run really quick. Can't punch or attack in this though. Kind of just have to wait for it to put you out of it. Next we have H, which is changing the um, what your clone should be. We have Z, uh, which is love train. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out what love train exactly does. <laughs> uh, v is the clones course so you can have four clones when you evolve it into love train but i kind of don't know what this move does um all right so here's the stand user we're going to use love train on this user and see how good it works with the clones attack So you are kind of just immortal to so all attacks, and if they attack you, they get damaged too. This is a really good stand. That's all for the showcase. If I were to rate this stand out of 10, I would easily give it a 10 out of 10. It's super overpowered. These clones are super broken. The love train is out of this world. It's insanely easy for farming. I can tell that you should use this stand if you want to get the Requiem Arrow. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. See ya.